Let me introduce you to Mr. A. Hi, stop it, you. Stop it, stop it. Come here, what do you think you're up to? Now, I'm going to show you three things. Number one. London, the largest city in the world, has a splendid road service of passenger buses for the millions of people, visitors, shoppers, workers and others, needing quick and comfortable transport from place to place. At regular stopping places along the roads, people wait quietly in line. Buses, of course, enter London at different parts. It's well to be sure that you get in one that is going to the part you want to reach. The people enter the bus in an orderly manner, no crowding or pushing out of turn, and the conductor controls everything in a cheerful way. Number two. The driver keeps a steady speed. He knows when he should reach the next stop and drives so that he will be there right on time. People rely on his correct timekeeping at the stopping places. There are times when friendly cooperation is specially necessary. A cripple needs much kindness in his affliction. It's not easy for him to enter a bus, but friendly hands give help at once. Now, number three. Travelling by bus is one of the best and cheapest ways of seeing the country. Time goes pleasantly in looking at the interesting scenes that have passed by. The roads begin to look busier. London is getting nearer. Another stop will soon be in sight. Another stop. Again, no rushing nor crowding to get in first. A child's pushcart could easily be a nuisance, but the conductor sees that it isn't and no one is hindered at all. A mother with a little child always hopes for a seat near the door. A kind passenger changes his seat to help her. Just thought for others. Wherever there are little children, people are kindlier. Africans in particular have a great love for them. And somehow, small children have a quick instinct and seem to know when they are with friends. Back in London, and back home, right on time. Just like any other journey in a London transport bus. Always in the thousands of London buses, the same good service and civility of the staff is met by willing, orderly and friendly cooperation by the travelling public. Excellent. Remember, coughs and sneezes spread diseases. <laughs>